Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Yeez 8. Today, uh, instead of meeting you guys back in that dungeon, I looked at the map and I was like, oh yeah, there is this green triangle here and we can actually get to it now. But we need 11 people, but hey, it's actually marked on the map now, so uh, that's great. Now I will meet you guys back here. Well, some back somewhere in here. All right, so we are back. Let's go Watch ahead and climb this vine. Come on. So it said mid on the telepad, right? I'm not sure where that actually places you when you teleport to it. I decided that walking back would probably be better for my experience and resources. Wow. These are some great gloves. Yeah, they're pretty good. I bet we can reach more places now. Is there a treasure down there? Yeah, there is. Okay. <laughs> like, I see it on the map, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be, like, above. Spiral manual. Uh, sure. Let's check that out. Spiral manual. Uh, an ancient combat guide. Uh, read it to teach Adol skill. Okay. Rattle. Tornado blade. Or tornado sword. I can, yeah, I know what I'm talking about here. Uh, oh, so it's just actually <laughs> summon of a tornado vacuum by slice. Okay, so now we have some magic. Cool. Uh, all right, you gained dagger fling uh, level there. I don't think you gained anything over here. Well, I definitely have to check out this tornado. I haven't used those potions yet. I probably should. Maybe I'll just keep them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably gonna want to give them to the main character, but there's always a chance we could get like a completely useless yeah. character at some point that I want to level up. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's pretty dope. I mean, that's a little much, but that's pretty dope. I thought you were like a wall spider for a second. Very concerned for my well-being. I wouldn't surprise me given that there's a, like a lot of poison in this area, but still. Uh, definitely seems like there should be something here. I should definitely be fishing more, right? I should probably go down to the lake at some point and fish up some of the fish there. Iron ore. Because I haven't really fished in this area, yeah? Aside from the boss area, and we got a pretty good fish, so maybe I should go back to the starting area and get some of those fish. It could also just be the same fish. Probably make a habit of that if there's gonna be like something I need to feed fish to to gain stuff, which sounds great to me. I don't even know how you're able to jump, to be quite honest. Ow. Like, can you, I don't know, just like, maybe take more damage? What is your weak point? Like, I know it's me, but... There we go. Oh my god, do I have to jump to attack you? This is rare. We got a couple of, uh... New things there. Strong shell, I think, is new. Revive a medicine. Woo. We definitely needed that. Well, okay. We've died once, right? We didn't need it. And we have those ripe berry things, so it's like not even that big of a deal. Though I feel like we're probably going to be dying a lot more because, good god, aside, you take so much damage and you have the highest defense right now. So, it's kind of impressive. Maybe I'm just better at dodging with Adel? Maybe? I don't know, to be quite honest, because I, like, I don't really ever use Lexia that much. We haven't really run anything that's too weak to her. Or if we have, she's actually been good enough to uh, attack it before I even notice it, to break it. Uh, Sahad, we have to control. Or else he doesn't attack the enemies that are he's strong against. That's three new things. Um, well, not three new things, but three of one new item. 
Like millions. Be careful at all. It's the same thing we've been fighting this entire time. It's just, they're just using their skills now. Which honestly they should have been doing this entire time. But thankfully it doesn't really change anything. So Huh. Alright, well, look. There's definitely a green marker up here. And a chest. New location discovered. Rainbow Road. Well, Rainbow Waterfall. Rainbow Falls. Close enough. What a beautiful view. It is very pretty. What's up, dog? At all, emergency! Uh, what do you want? You're pretty busy, you know. Emergency, something happened. Many beasts! Cast away village in danger! Oh. Beasts, what's going on? Hurry up! Hurry back! I was just there! It sounds like a rather unusual situation. Let's return to the village, Mr. Kristen. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I was just there. There's a disturbance in the forest and at the village. Fast travels to the village from the map menu. Ray. Okay. Is, is this a sponsorship? Is it that mobile game? That every that sponsors every YouTube video? Boy, am I glad to see you. What happened? Yeah, well, I need you to remain calm. I can't. Looks like beasts have surrounded Castaway Village. Okay, then how did we get in? Beasts? So what Paro said was true. The beasts around here have been getting more ferocious lately. Probably because we've been running around slaughtering them all. I mean, they've lived on this island, what? Just for how long without being attacked by humans and then here I come spin dashing everywhere. Why don't we go talk to the captain? He'll fill you in on the details. Can I save? I didn't save in between recordings. God damn it. What are the number what are the number of beasts surrounding the village? I couldn't even tell you. I can't really count. Uh, I figured something like that would happen, so I set up a barricade just to be safe. I was hoping we never u need to use it. Oh, man, what a day. I bet they're ticked off at us for being in their territory and killing them all. That's one possibility. Heh. <laughs> what should we do? The stone cliffs surrounding the village are our best defense. Attempting to flee the village would pose a greater risk than staying put. Mostly because we don't know where to go. That makes sense. Then what are we gonna do? Long term, and it is our best interest to defend this village. In which case, propose, propose we meet the beasts in the field and fight them off. Sounds easier said than done. You got a plan for fighting them off? Yeah, we determined that the beasts are evading from two points. From the shore to the south, and the mountains to the north. I propose that we split into two groups and meet the beasts at, some, at both points. I don't. I want you, Lexi, and Sahad to defend the south, uh, south shore. The rest of us will come, fight. Uh, come with me to fight off the beasts coming from the mountains. How does that plan sound to you? I don't know. Will your team be saved? I'll be with them. Okay, that's not very reassuring. So you got nothing to worry about. Still not reassuring. Just relax and let me handle things. I'll do whatever I can. <laughs> I'll sew them a noose. <laughs> Once you feel you fully prepared for your positions to your assigned. Once you feel like you're fully prepared, position yourselves in the assigned areas. I wish you all the best. The raid will begin once you speak to Doggy. Once you prepare for battle, talk to Doggy. Any quests? Alright. Alright, can I, uh, I don't know. Make anything? <laughs> 
I'm assuming we're gonna get like upgrades at some point or find better weapons or something. Oh, can I make any new armor? I got a lot of new. Oh, mother. Ugh, okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna save because, like, I haven't. Okay. Uh, Lexia? Yeah, I mean, it's not great. I'm, I'm not on phase. I'm just dead inside. That's completely different. Oh, we can have Allison make his stuff out here. Okay, so Allison's not fighting. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. She's not a fighter. She's a tailor. But at the same time, you could fight, you know. I won't stop you. I need to get some soft fibers, don't I? Yeah. Oh, he actually doesn't have the highest defense. Adel does. Oh, you want to see my map? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that is great progress. Is it? Because last time I showed this to me, you you made fun of me, and I wanted to punch this is you. From me. Thank you for the hail potion. I'm assuming that means I have another empty bottle when I use that. Cool. All right. Uh, should I check the beach again? The shoe bill's up there. Who the hell's down here? Is it George Carlin? No, it's Sahad. Sahad, what are you doing down here, man? Is this the barricade? What are you? What are you so nervous about, dog? Aside from the fact that you take a stupid amount of damage whenever you get hit. You, you're like one of the only fighters in this village. You have an advantage. By gaining levels, you have actually secured your survivability rate. Or increase your, increase your survivability rate. I mean, Doggy could be holding out on us. He could be level 99 for all I know. Where the hell is that other guy? Oh, is he in here? Can we use him as monster bait? Can I stab him? I want to stab him. I'm not kidding. We don't need to kill him. But he doesn't need all his limbs, clearly. So... He he can just be stabbed. That's fine. No one will hate that. Okay, well, I need you to make me more medicine that I don't have. Can I have all those bottles? Alright, doggy, let's do this. Begin the raid! All right, if you're prepared, then stand by at your position. Good to go? Uh, yeah. All right, let's get pumped. Leave it to me. Oh, we did put out bait. Did we make that from Carlin? Looks like the beasts aren't here yet. If they get past this barricade, they'll infiltrate the village. Uh, so we're the last line of defense. Get a hold of the beast and make sure they don't get past us. Huh, what's that? How clever. It appears to be a lure to distract the beasts. If the beasts are drawn to that lure, it will be easier, easier for us to dispatch them. So we should protect the lures too. That's right, in the end, we don't want the beast to penetrate the barricade. If we can defend the lures, then the battle will go much smoother. Man, my stomach's doing cartwheels. Can you give me some words of encouragement or something, Adel? Uh, don't die. Uh... We'll, de we'll defend this place with our lives? We'll defend this place with our lives! For House Roswell. Yeah, this is our turn! Okay. Cool. Fight off the invasion beasts. Barricade, the last line of defense. Defend battle is lost if this falls. Lure, distracts beast. Three, battle gauge, displays which side is winning. Doggy squad gauge, shows the battle status of doggy squad. Score, earn points based off your battle performance. <laughs> the greater your advantage, the faster your HP and SP will regenerate. This is important during longer battles. Uh, the gauge fluctuates based on the situation of the raid, the enemy power, and the number of castaways in their approval. So they should all love me. 
How many lures are there? Oh, who let the dogs out? I missed all of them. How we doing? Hey, come on down here. Welcome to the blender. Oh, my skill points. Huh? Where did you come from? Actually, where did you come from? That's right, that's great. Come on down. Uh, wave one, clear. You're a god. I know. Thank you. Wait, who took... Who took damage? Who took damage? Good job, Allison. Paro. Looks like I came in handy. Ah, that's pretty good. What is Paro doing? Dropping coconuts on things? What's the situation, Adel? What are you doing here? Uh, we're good. Seems that way. We managed to defend our side too. But from what the captain and I can tell, more beasts are on the way. More. Ah, oh, we had best prepare ourselves then. Oh, that's right. And one more thing. From now on, those of us who are able to and willing to will provide you support. I would imagine everyone would be willing, because if we fail, everyone dies. Yeah, you guys are clearly outnumbered here. So I'll keep tabs on your situation and send people to support you. Send me Allison. She can make us armor. Uh, each castaway has a sports skill that you that you, that they use to help idle during raids. Sports skills are enhanced via approval. Be reviewed on the people page. Okay. All right, to your stations, everyone. We're at our stations. Don't get PDC now. We gotta push him back. Uh, push it real good. <laughs> God, I love this blender attack. It's so good! Oh, I missed that. I horribly missed that one. Ultra Psych level 2. Thank you, doggy. Hey, they dropped supplies. Nice. Oh, oh, moles! Mole people! They're dead. Uh, the cap. Oh, it's the, the starfish. Do the attack down, please. Ow! Okay, that one took a little bit of a damage. I guess I should be using flash. Okay. For a second there, I thought he was the highest scoring guy there for a second. Apparently, the captain should be on the party. <laughs> it was wonderful. I'd get a taste for blood now. Everyone, just a little longer. Situation report. Situation report. Doggy squad doing bad. Doggy squad doing bad. Doggy doing bad? Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Where's my party? Wait a minute. Where's my party? They're behind. They, they sound like they're. Oh, they're here. Oh, that was weird. Where'd you guys go? You disappeared for a second. There is no situation and there is no report. You use that now? This is the worst possible time for that ability. Oh, God. Okay. I guess that was handy. Just because there was like a bunch of stuff on the screen. But I didn't know. Okay. Now they're doing well? Okay. Stop jumping, Gronos. I can't stop hitting the circle button to attack. Or something. Okay. Yeah, more crit! Oh, we got a Waller's man. Somewhat stronger than the other walruses we fought. Did we kick their ass? Yeah. 
Man, the captain like on. kicked ass in this. Ah, that's pretty good. Hey, captain, you want to join the team? Hey, we did it. Yes, great job. I don't know why we took that much damage, but at the same time, it's still pretty good. All right, Got an A? Job. Okay. Is that good? I'm assuming it goes oh, up to wonderful. S. Looks like I came in handy. <laughs> oh, okay, so that was an S. Whoa. Brilliant. Oh, that is a lot of stuff. First time bonus for Adel Squad. Receive the following. Bitter Remedy. Uh, that pincer, an ore. I'm assuming uh, if I get an S, I get something else. Your reward is based off your score for the raid. There are first time bonuses for each new rank reached. Uh, scores are based on clear time, defeat enemies in fortification conditions. Enemies may retreat after some time passes. Be careful as this can affect your score when calculating the enemies you defeated. Ugh, that, was, that kind of constant fighting gets pretty tiring after a while. At least the beast finally uh, hightailed it out of here. Yes, we won't need to worry about them anymore. My legs are still shaking, but my bloodlust is boiling! Ideally, we'll be able to defend this village ourselves and ensure everyone's safely. It is regrettable that you had to come to our aid instead. I'm terribly sorry for that. Oh, we had to work together to fight him off. That's just the way it is. Even so, Captain Barbaro Barbaros... There's a good chance we'll get hit by another beast raid in the future. Uh, we'll need to fortify our defenses so we need so we can fend them off better next time. And to do that, we need more people in the village to help us. That's why we need to hurry and rescue the other castaways, Mr. Christian. You return in the nick of time to help us, Idol. In the event that we are raided again, I'll make sure that little peril relays a message to you. I would appreciate if you could come to our aid if and when that time comes. Of course! Especially if you give me items for it. Good. By finding the other castaways and completing the map is... But finding other castaways and completing the map is just as important. I mean, dog, not if you all die, right? If you all die, us getting out of here becomes less likely. Make sure you properly assess the situation before deciding to, on a course of action. Now then, shall we resume our research for the other castaways? I mean, I guess we could. A little pair will alert you to raids. Most of the, for the most part, raids are optional. When the raid icon appears, head to the castaway village to join the fight. When the raid icon is red, it means the raid is almost over. When a raid is active, and a uh, sword icon will mark uh, doggy's, doggy's location. If you talk to Doggy and select raid practice, you can retry past raids you completed. Okay, and probably get higher rewards based on what you uh, can do. No requests. All right, cool. So, uh, I guess let's head back to the forest. Oh, you can fast climb. Neat. All right. So there was actually a vine over here, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah. If I remember correctly. Oh, God. Seriously, why do you take so much damage? There, hey, we actually avoided the damage that time. Go me. But yeah, there's like a whole like little freaking thing over here, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Do you go anywhere? I think we bypassed you last time because I kind of thought you were going to be the way to go. Oh, something's there. Maybe? Wait, did we go this way and go the... Wait, hold up. <laughs> oh, we didn't go this way. What's this? Oh, does this lead all the way back to the beginning? Wait, where, where the hell are we? Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, no, this leads to here. Right? Wait, where is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, it does lead to the beginning. Oh, okay. Sure. I should have got that like at the like the last time we were here, I guess. Huh. All right, so we got a treasure up here. By up there, I mean down there. Okay. We got two different locations. We can go up. Oh, we can go down. 
I'm gonna go down first because treasure. Seems very dangerous to walk on, to be quite honest. Three iron ore. I'm assuming that's gonna come in handy at some point. Maybe we can upgrade it later. We don't really have any use for it right now. Whoops, didn't think that actually dropped me off there. Uh, I did go fishing um, on the way back, and I caught two new fish. Can I show that? Uh, fish, 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 fish. So I got this guy and this guy on the way back. That's about right. And yeah, because we caught this guy. I'm assuming it was a rare fish for, for the time. But uh, hey, uh, we'll uh, we'll feed the shoe bill the stuff later. There's another treasure down here. <laughs> treasure. Antidotes. All right, cool. A uh, crab. I mean, I gotta go down, right? Let's go. Because, like, yeah, it's just like one of those things. I cannot not go down there. There we go. Oh my god, I actually was like, how can I stop taking damage from you? There we go. Alright. Probably guarding is going to be my best bet when it comes to Sahad. Can't seem to actually get his dodge down. There's apparently something I can climb over there. Okay. Oh, and there's treasure over there that we missed. Eat this. Not done yet. Let's uh, Eat let's check down here real fast. There's fish. Let's do it. Sure, we can fish a little bit while we're here. Then we'll go get that treasure. Come on. Also, apparently these crabs drop freaking uh, bait from the looks of it. Well, that's not bad. No, that's actually quite awful. What do you mean that's not bad? That's awful. I hope I catch a big one. You're not gonna catch anything if, like, if the past ones any indication. All right. Yeah, no, this is another bad one. It's well, new. Not it's bad. not new. <sighs> Sahad, you're supposed to be the fisherman, man. I'm just sad and disappointed in your fishing abilities. Ah. This, hey, a red cape. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you have nothing on, so sure. Maybe I should give that to Sahad because he's always almost dying. Switch. On guard. I don't know why I thought you'd be faster at climbing this. Is she smaller? I don't know. She's about the same size as uh, Adel, though, so... I don't know. Well, she jumped really high there. That's... Oh, don't fall. Let's go. All let's right. Go. Well, let's keep going this way, I guess. And it does look like we're going to be able to fall down. Oops. Really? Must have flexed too hard. Sahad, how could you? Right in her face, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. What did I do to deserve this? That's a good question, really. All right, so there's a monster here and there. Okay, so... Oh, God! <laughs> Ow! Well, at the very least, we could probably... <laughs> get to that treasure or whatever the hell's over there. I'm assuming it's treasure. There's a vine over there. All right. I think he just dropped his... Loot, maybe, down? There's something there. Yeah, it's a rock formation. Same thing as always, dog. Uh, treasure. Omelet recipe. Great. And then we have... Was treasure. All right. And we do have a way to... Oh, God! Climb up here at the very least. Strength elixir. Cool. And this just leads down there, which we saw earlier. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use those strength elixir as I think. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Adel? I was just checking to see if there was anything over there. And there's not. There's just sticks. Don't fling yourself off into oblivion. Thank you. Alright, you know what? 
we do this from here. So we increase our strength by six. That's pretty dope. And then our defense by that. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, I feel like I can just jump that, but because we just got these gloves. Ooh, Kronos, really? Oh, shit. Don't fall. I think someone just fell, actually. All right, wow. That went pretty, uh, pretty easy, actually. All right, how much more? I'm actually kind of surprised we're still in this dungeon. It does kind of look like we're coming to the end of it, but I guess that'll be next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all then. Bye.